Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Back for part 2 of the African Assault Tournament. And yes, you may have noticed that part 1 I was missing, but I am back. My microphone is working properly because I double checked to make sure. And I am back to do to provide you with my beautiful commentary. So I will quickly recap what happened in part 1. So we had Spiny, Delta Dromius and Eocarcaria all securing their places in round 2. And we are on to this bracket down here. So without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup of this session. Right the O then, in the red corner, we got the Afrovenator, the African Hunter. A beautiful dinosaur. Ban and man. Afrovenator looking pretty strong with that tornado toss. Could be tossing away his opponent's chances of winning. But in the blue corner, we have yet another wind bronze dinosaur, the Rugops. The massively oversized Rugops, I might add. Because it definitely wasn't this big. Well, it was sizable in Planet Dinosaur, but I think its size has actually shrunk over the years as we found out find out more about it. I mean, compared to the Spinosaurus, it was it's still tiny. <laughs> but yeah, look at it, it's massive. Way too big. It's like freaking Bragosaurus. Just doesn't look right. But hey, I don't like this game for its paleo accuracy. I mean, take Megaraptor. That thing's as inaccurate as it comes. Right, there's a Froven it again, the first hit. It's the Death Grind. Boosh! So yeah, just to recap, for those of you that are new to these kinds of tournaments, moves are randomly generated. One and four will be rock. 2 and 5 will be paper, and 3 and 6 will be scissors. It's a best out of 3, so whoever wins, well, yeah, it's a best out of 3. <laughs> Winner will go through, and the loser will go home. And so far, it's a good start from a Frovenator. Both of these two dinosaurs pack very powerful crits. So I think it could come down to who gets their crit off. And so far, none of them are eyeing up their crits. Oh, it's a tie. A Frovenator. Ooh, he's going for his crit. Oh, he didn't get it, though. He didn't get it. This Rugops is tie defense type and has, in fact, taken the lead. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> it's a hurricane beat, but yeah, let's be honest. Even if the Frovenator was health was above half, it would probably still die. <laughs> and yes, this will be curtains for a Frovenator. Well, in this round anyway. And it's Rugops who takes a 1-0 lead. Well then, let's move on to round 2, shall we? Right then, round 2 between these two bronzes. The Battle of the Bronze is heating up. Well, it's swirling up, I shall say, because it, they win dinosaurs. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't do a bronze theme tournament where I just use all bronze dinosaurs. Hmm. Could that be the next mini tournament? Hint, hint. I mean, if it is, it's probably going to be full of wind dinosaurs because I think wind, I think wind has the most bronzes. <laughs> well, you've got these two. You've got Delta Dromius. You've got Ceratosaurus, and you've got Ace as well, who is technically a bronze. So that's five. Oh, well, this, um, yeah, this big battle cry from Gavro, because I think this is going to even the score. And this Afrovenator is reform type as well, so sometimes its moves will be stronger. Oh, yep, it's dead. <laughs> wow. Quick as a wind, as they say. Afrovenator even in the score. You know what that means? It all comes down to this deciding round. Right, the deciding round between these two. Who will win the showdown on the beach? Will it be a Frovenator or will it be Rugops? <laughs> um. Be oh, oh, oh. Well, luckily for the Rugops, the Reform type didn't activate, so. It probably will survive. Even with a Galley Rush. Oh, big lag there. <laughs> Because I just finished recording Primal Carnage, probably. Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, impressive amount of damage from the Afrovenator. 
Well, Rugops, it's all on you, mate. Can you respond with a hurricane beat? Well, you're not going to yet. And I don't think you're going to get the chance to. Yep. Yeah. Well. A Frovenator blowing away the Rugops and advancing to the next round. Rugops. Bit of a rough match for you, my friend. But you're bowing out. Right then. Let's move on to our next matchup, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we've got the Majungasaurus. One of the more well-known dinosaurs from Africa here. Majungasaurus. What could be a dark horse in this tournament? Well, I would make it a dark horse if it wins this match. Because in the blue corner, we've got the one. we got the only. Probably the most famous dinosaur in Africa, the Spinosaurus. And yeah, it's no exaggeration as, as to why this guy is the most famous dinosaur in Africa. And it's no exaggeration to say that this dude is the tournament favourite. But can he get past Majungasaurus? It's a tough test to begin with. Oh, um, well, it's a good start, isn't it? It's a crit. It's a tail smash. Boosh. Oh, wow. Wow. Even without the heroic buff, it still does a decent amount of damage. Time. Another time. Another time. Ooh, Majungasaur is getting a hit. Majungasaur is not beat yet. Getting a hit on the Spino. I think his Mayfly has been triggered, or as Fool's Caps like to say, Kangaroo! Oh, oh, there goes Majungasaurus. Spinosaurus taking a 1 0 lead. And actually, on the topic of tournaments, I would like to point. I would like to say that. A little while ago, there was this Japanese YouTuber that did a tour did a tournament. It was basic it was basically exactly the same as mine. And I entered it and I got swept in the first round, but we don't talk about that because it wasn't my tournament, so it didn't count. Yeah, they're actually doing another tournament, but this time it's gonna be two versus two. And I've also entered that tournament with kind of a meme team. But anyway, I'll talk about that later as we move on to round two. So yeah, this same guy is doing another tournament. So it's gonna be interesting. I mean, the first one worked pretty well, even with, like, the no restrictions. And speaking of tournaments. But I'm not so convinced, not so convinced he should do another person tournament just after doing one. I feel like the gap is a little bit too short. And that's mainly why I keep my tournaments to, like, a yearly thing now. And speaking of my tournament, you might get a teaser soon. Anyway, back to this tournament and back to this match on his Majungasaurus off to a strong start. A very strong start. It's getting a crit with a Tutu for a die. Can Majungasaurus level things up? Oh, oh, it's a tie. Spinosaurus can come back from this though. And if he, d and if he wins this, he will go through. Ooh. A light recovery as well will definitely aid his comeback. And remember, the Spino is heroic type, so that scissors move will do more damage than it normally would. As you saw there, and I think a tail smash might be enough for the win. Okay, now it will be enough. But can he get it? Oops, another tie. Ooh, this is a 10 second round. The Jungasaurus needs to win this. And I think has he done it? Oh, it's a tie! Oh, he's just clung on! Well, the Spinosaurus almost got it done. But Majungasaurus just clinged on, clinged on to level things up and stay alive in this tournament. Boosh! Well, you know what that means? It's all going to come down to a deciding round. Spinosaurus not having it all his own way. 
Oh. <laughs> right. Come to our food round between these two. Can the Spinosaurus see this out? Or will the Jungasaurus come back and stun the favourite? Oh, we start with a tie. We've had quite a few ties in this matchup. Another tie. Ooh, it's Majungasaurus getting the first hit. Can he pull this off? I mean, it wouldn't be that much of an upset, because Majungasaurus is still a really good dinosaur. It's just that I think Spinosaurus is slightly better. <laughs> it's another tie, but Spinosaurus is in a bit of trouble. Another tie. <laughs> God. Oh, has he just snatched it? Has Spinosaurus just snatched it with a tail smash? Like recovery will definitely put him, give him some health back. Oh, he's killed it! Spinosaurus with the smash and grab win over Majungasaurus. Spinosaurus looked to be on the ropes here for a while, just couldn't get a hit, but got that crucial tail smash, which sees him home. As from a Jungasaurus, definitely put up a good fight there, but Spinosaurus just sneaked through in the end. Right, on to our final match of this session. Right then, in the red corner, the di one of the two dinosaurs I forgot to add to this tournament. It's Alpha Super Minus. Alpha Super Minus, a powerhouse crept. Could be one for watching this tournament. Spinosaurus might have a bit of competition in round two if Super Mimus gets through. However, in the blue corner, we have yet another Alpha Dinosaur. This time, it's the other Alpha Dinosaur I forgot to add, Alpha Kentrosaurus. Origi originally, this matchup was going to be Alpha Allosaurus versus regular Allosaurus, but I removed Allosaurus because that thing is bloody everywhere. Whereas these two are Africa exclusive. I mean, come on, we're going to see Allosaurus in another tournament, let's be honest. You're not going to miss it. And it's Alpha Super Mimus getting the first hit. Not too much damage dealt. Ooh, the Kendrosaurus getting off a softening beam. This one always lags the emulator. Super Minus's strengths and weaknesses have been fully anim. Oh, he's got poisoned as well. Analyzed. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, look at that! Softening beam and the poison chipping away at Super Minus's health. Ooh, but the Suko does get the next hit. No Aqua Javelin, though. I think that. No, that's Aqua Vortex. So I don't know what it is. I came up with these moves on the fly. <laughs> oh, it's dead. <laughs> the softening beam doing its job. Giving Kendrosaurus the 1-0 lead. Well then, let's move on to round 2, shall we? Right, round 2 and oh, we're back here again. Can the Alpha Super Mimus even things up? Or will Alpha Kendrosaurus get the job done this round? Actually, leave a comment down below. Which alpha dinosaur? Which alpha dinosaur is your favourite? Apart from Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, which alpha dinosaur is your favourite? I quite like Suko actually. I think Suko and Irritator look really good. Kendrosaurus looks on. Chasmosaurus is vibrant. Ooh, Suko landed some poison there. Oh, oh, here comes the Alpha Dart. Say it with me. What's that time? What's that time? What's that time? It's Alpha Dart time. Boosh! Oh, it's the exclamation mark. It's the robot. No, it's the Dynaman statue. Big damage done to Sukumimus there. Even more damage is going to be done. Well, the softening beam did the damage last time, and it looks set to do the damage this time. Oh, poor Alpha Suko is probably going to... Well, yeah, Ty is certainly going to kill him. Well, 
One crit from the suit, though. He can save himself. No. <laughs> no chance of that. Here comes Spike Arrows to finish the job. And it is a convincing 2-0 win for Alpha Kent Azorus. People, are when, people wonder why I don't do an Alpha Dinosaur Tournament. It's because there's 13 of them. Right, let's have a look at our matchup for round two and we'll end the session. Well, a, fro well, a Frovenator, Spinosaurus and Alpha Kentrosaurus have all made it through to round two. But out of these three, only one will make it to the final. And Spinosaurus, even though I think it's a tournament favourite, is going to be not going to have an easy ride here. A Frovenator and Alpha Kentrosaurus definitely showed their might in their matchups. But Spinosaurus also showed that when it's back against the wall, it can still win. So yeah, this is probably going to be the most... In fact, all three brackets have the potential to be fiercely competitive. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment. Is your favourite still in this tournament? And ring the bell to make sure you don't miss out on the final part of the first round. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.